Well, it was great to have the Chief Minister of Maharashtra come and check out our technology, see a live test, see about the first system that's going to be built in India, see exactly what he's going to get for that. I was really impressed with the whole delegation's ability to want to push this project forward and do it very fast, and their commitment after seeing the technology and showing how quickly we built the technology here in Nevada, understanding how we can do that inside of India, and they are trying to find ways to help us do that even faster than we ever thought possible. To be where we are now, when a year ago we were at the Vision for India event where we were looking at different routes all around the country is pretty incredible. The people came to us and said, we want to see a Hyperloop technology in India. We want to see this exist. Right now it takes about three and a half hours to do the trip between Mumbai and Pune by road. Uh, if you take a train, it takes about five or six hours. There's only two flights a week because it's such a short distance and it's very difficult to get to the airports. We're basically saying we can do it in 25 minutes, which is a huge improvement from the status quo. Today was all about viewing our technology in real time, in real life. And nothing prepares you until you come here and then see it for yourself. When you see the tube, when you see the, the, the pod, when you see the control room, you see the people that are actually been making history. That, to me, is when really this is no longer a figment of the imagination. This is now reality. Imagine travelling non-stop at up to 670 miles per hour, above land or underground. This is Hyperloop, a new mode of transportation that has been developed by Hyperloop One. It starts with an electric motor, which is broken up into two basic components, the rotor, which rotates, and the stator, which is stationary. The stator is an electromagnet, so when an electric current passes through it, the rotor is magnetically attracted to spin. Unlike a normal electric motor, the Hyperloop One motor isn't circular, it's linear. And the rotor is on the pod, which is propelled magnetically as it moves over the stator. Hyperloop One's unique technology uses magnetic levitation to guide and lift the pod off the track. Nearly all of the air inside the Hyperloop tube is removed using a series of vacuum pumps. This effectively creates our own sky inside the tube as if you are quietly flying at 200,000 feet above sea level. This reduces drag so only the smallest amount of electricity is needed to achieve extraordinary speeds and creates a more cost and energy efficient system than high-speed rail or airline transport. Hyperloop One will be automated by the most advanced systems in the world, allowing a safe and efficient journey that's never delayed or overbooked. Hyperloop is the first new form of public transportation in over a hundred years. Fundamentally, it will change the way we travel, work and live. Welcome to the future. Welcome to Hyperloop One. Five, four, three, two, one, fire.